Hello everybody. Now that we are done with uh, preparing the data for our further analysis where we saw how to do the feature engineering, feature selection, missing imputation, binning and all those things. Now it's time to start with the data analysis. All right. So what are the main concept which we have behind the data analysis that's the first thing which we gotta think of it all right so to start with any sort of data analysis first of all we need to understand what the data is right and what is the problem statement all right let me give you a walk through one by one so here we know that our data is about loan defaulters right so we have the data where customers has taken the loan and we have the detail who out of all those customers defaulted the payment or who out of all those customers paid the payment made the payment on time so to understand that in this loan default data we have one variable called target which has the value 0 and 1 where 0 indicates to no default and 1 indicates indicates to default now this is the data to do the ed exploratory data analysis or any sort of analysis it is important that we have a view why do what is it that we want to get out of it so that's called the problem statement okay so there could be two situation one when we already know the problem statement the other one when we don't know the problem statement as of now we are going to have a look from this perspective where we know the problem statement so what the problem statement is for example given this data the bank wants to understand what sort of customer should the bank target who will be non defaulter what sort of rate of interest they can provide to those kind of customers and the customers will not default and many more so here we will try to cover as much as we can so to start with this first of all what we need to see is out of whatever we have available we will have a look at non defaulter customers we will also see the default defaulted customers as well simultaneously but let's talk about non defaulters we will pick out the non defaulters and we will try to analyze their you know features what are the features that they have because of which they are turning to be non defaulter for example what is their profile whether they are employed businessman etc what is what is their education all right what is their marital status what is their residence basis on this we will try to establish a pattern right and then we will conclude that this segment of the customer can turn out to be non defaulter all right so i just hope that this gives you a bit of understanding let's jump back to the jupyter notebook and here we know that we have this particular data frame where we have all these columns let's just check out the data type for all the columns which we have right so we have altogether 49 columns right out of which we can see we have some float variable object and some category variables so category variables are those where we had created the binnings right then float are those continuous variables you can also consider float and int as numerical variables or continuous variables object we will consider as categorical variables all right so this looks hazy for any analysis because we are talking about the analysis right so let's just take the count of all the uh, variables by the data type right so let's say data type all right let's say data type dot value counts and what is it that we are getting so here we got the result right so like you can see here we have 18 float variables 15 int variables so all together 33 approximately 15 to so 30 and 3 33 variables we have numeric and 10 11 12 13 14, 15, 16, 16 variables we have as character. So let's just focus on object variable as of now. So let's just pick out the object variables. How can we get that? All right. So let's just say app scores, app score removed dot select data types 
and in this we have a function called we have a parameter called include right so you can use the include func parameter and uh, in that what you can do is you can say object let's just see if that works okay i'll just have i'll just take top five i mean head all right so like you can see here here's what we are getting right so here what you have is just those columns where the data type is equals to object means the categorical variables all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just get the list of the columns okay columns and let's just run this so here we go now let's just store this in a variable called obj var okay now and once that is done here we go all right so we here we got all those variables which are categorical in nature now let's just start with doing our analysis with this particular variable where name contract type so name contract type what is name contract type let's try to figure this out okay so this is our table and first of all you want to understand what sort of data that we have in this particular variable okay so let me just put this over here and here i will say size dot size oops it just gave me error let me just see what is the error okay the column name is incorrect here we go right so we have two kind of value cash loans and revolving loans let's see the proportion of this value what is the proportion of this value okay so we're gonna say sns dot count plot and in that we will be producing data equals to app score app score removed x axis we're gonna put this particular variable and in hue we're gonna put target variable so you all know that if you are following the series you know that in the target variable we have value 0 and 1 0 means no default 1 means default let's just see what is the output that we get oh we got it okay so here approximately 250,000 customers in there are two types of loan which has been given to the customer one is cash loan the other one is revolving loans all right so in cash loan approximately somewhere 250,000 customers more than 250,000 customers are non-defaulter which is quite good signal right and if you see somewhere this is 50,000 this could be somewhere 21,000 all right so this is approximately 21,000 customers who has done the default who have defaulted okay now let's just try to get the percentage of it if we can get the percentage how do we get the percentage of it okay that's the problem statement so here i will just try to calculate the percentage what percentage of the customers has defaulted in cash loan and same in revolving okay so let me just try so what i'm going to do is i will just say app score this and let's just say group by and into this i'm going to say let's just say this variable name and the target variable target all right dot what we can say is mean let's just try mean what is it that we are getting okay let me do this let me take this out of it and just put over here because here what i want to do is i just want to figure out out of these two loan types cash loan and revolving how many what percentage of the customers are defaulter and who are non-defaulters okay so that's the problem statement now let me just try to do this and let's just see what happens oh it just gave the error name contract type and target let me just see if i can just enclose this yeah it looks like working okay now here one more thing as i'm going to do and that's over here 
now it has done the commitment and now he is saying that once i am done with the commitment i don't listen to anyone okay okay i'm just speaking rubbish just don't focus on that okay let me just pause the uh, hey all sorry so i fixed the issue while the video was video was paused but i'll tell you the um what exactly the problem was there wasn't any problem it's just i should have to use this variable in group by instead of target okay because i need to find defaulters by by the loan type right so the after doing this this is what i get right now i need to uh you know convert this into in terms of percentage so this is average so when um, i would say just put some mind and try to understand how average i am trying to convert into the percentage you will get the clarity okay so this is what over here now here i am just going to use one parameter let's say called as as index let me just see if e as index equals to false all right and now let me run this you see the difference okay so this is what we got now let me create another variable called pct and here what i'll do is i'll say data pct and uh, here i'm going to take the variable target target multiplied by 100 okay now let's just see what happens okay so here we got the data in terms of percentage all right here here is what we have in terms of percentage now let's just try to uh, draw a bar plot basis on this okay here i'm just going to say sns dot bar plot and into that data will be app score app score call removed and x on x axis i will be plotting this part and on y axis i will be plotting pct and let's just see what is it that we're going to get what we get is error pct could not be in, interpreted into the input yes because the input data which i have used is incorrect now here is what we got all right bravo we got it right so the customers who has taken cash loans out of that 8% 8. 8. some percentage of the customers have defaulted and the customers who has taken revolving loan out of that somewhere 5% 5. 5.5% of the customers have defaulted right so you see cash loan has more defaulters however if you see the number of customers who has taken cash loan is too high compared to revolving loan so still we can say that the people who are taking the cash loan are less likely to be defaulter right because if you calculate the proportion you will get that the cash loan has less defaulters now this was the uh, the uh, this was the two separate plot i will quickly show you how can we draw it quickly so first of all you will have to calculate this value right so let's say we already have this value calculated so what i'm going to do is i'll just take this variable from here and put it just right over here okay and uh, you know this data i will take uh, this one just right from here and i'll just try to plot both of these two graphs side by side okay and here i'm just going to say let's say plt plt dot figure fix size okay and let's call it 10 by 5 and here i have to say plt dot subplot and into here i'm going to say that i would like to have one row two two charts right and this is the first chart which i am trying to prepare chart or graph and this is the second one okay now let's just plot this and you see like you can see both of these two things are plotted side by side it gives you a very clear picture now this is just one categorical variable or object column right we have many more right so how many columns that we have all in together uh, in total let's just check length so we have 10 columns which are of object data type wherein we 
just checked it for this particular column i would suggest you to do the same thing for all these columns in uh, in context of target variable right and uh, let me know your observation into the comment section what is it that you observe what is it that you conclude for example here what we conclude is most of the customers who have taken most of the most of the customers customers have taken cash loan right cash loan and then customers customers who have taken cash loans are less likely to default this is our conclusion basis on this analysis right this is what we conclude same way i want you to do the analysis for all these variables variables and write down your conclusion over here and uh, in a notepad and put that into the comment section otherwise i'll just make i'll just cover all these variables in the next video and not only i will do the analysis i will also uh, try to show you how you can do this thing automatically it means every time you will not have to go and change this uh, column name everything will be done automatically all right this is it in this video see you in the next one